Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy me and today I will be showing you how to use texture packs for the Ship of Heart Canyon for Xbox. Alright, bet so for this video I will be using this texture pack here. And if you scroll down a little bit, this is where you would download it. And then also here is the settings that we are gonna have to enable within the app for the texture pack to work. Alright, bet so once you have your texture pack, all you gotta do is simply look for your SOH folder. So I'm opening up another tab. Now, if you do not have a mods folder by default, simply just create one. And then once you create it, just open it up. And what you got to do is simply drag and drop. I already have mine set up the way I like to play, so I'm just going to leave it as such. But once you added those in, now all we're going to do is unplug our external drive, plug it into the Xbox, and open up the app. Alright, bet now that we're in our game, you can do this within the main menu, or you could do this in-game like I'm doing now. And all you got to do is press select on your controller. You should see a little menu pop up at the top. It's very tiny, but this is just how the menu is at the moment. And then what you got to do is press X. And then now at the top left, you should see it highlighted in blue. This shows you like how we're navigating through the tabs. And then the first thing we got to do is we got to go to the enhancements, graphics, mods, and we got to enable the use alternative assets. So we're going to go to the third tab to enhancements, press A on it, go down to graphics, click A on this again, and then click A on mods. Now you should see use alternative assets, click A on this, and then now you can see that it immediately goes into effect as soon as you enable it. And then also we need to disable the Grotto fixed rotation. Go down twice, one, two, click A on this. And then now we could press B and then go down to enable 3D dropped items in projectiles. And then press B. And then for the last fix, it would say, make sure to have out of bounds textures being unchecked and it is unchecked by default. So then you should be pretty much good to go. Then to get out of this, press B until it's not highlighted anymore at the top. Press the select button to get out of the menu. And then now you can just play your game. And that's pretty much it. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, make sure to give it a like and follow for more. And I hope to catch you guys on the next one.